Hey folks, this is number two video in the series of how many fruits do I grow? This is a pineapple. This is one of the fruits that I grow. I also have two others growing over there. Two there and two there. And I have one back here. have one over in another bed that I'll show you too. Okay, so this is one that I do plan on moving, but I just haven't done it yet. It's growing in this bed right here. So, there's quite a few pineapple. Number Twelve is papayas. Well, I have a whole line of them here that I'm growing. I also have some in the back and over next to the house. Let me show you that. One over here is up next to the house. I have one large one here. They all seem to be females. One large one here. They have fruit on them. So I'm looking forward to trying those. I also have large one here. So that's three more back here. Number 13 of the plants that I grow is starfruit, also known as um, carambola. And it is very, very good. I have a tree here, and I also have a tree right back there underneath the, uh, right next to the bananas. They are very, very good. And number 14 is Barbados cherries. They are very, very delicious too. Trying to see if I see any on here. There are not, but I do see some blooms which are awesome. Looks like some of those blooms are just falling off, so those will be big and green soon. Um, the, uh, what do you call them? Squirrels go after these too, so I have to try and pick them as soon as they're ripe enough, or else I don't get any. So that is number 14. I believe. Okay. Number 15 is elderberries. That big bush right there is an elderberry. <laughs> it is not blooming, which is quite bizarre. But then again, I did cut it back this year so I could get some more starts, not knowing that uh, we have so many in Florida already. There's also one right here. Not doing as well. I'll be cutting it back this really good this year. But at least at least it's there, right? Um so that's number 15. Now this is a pineapple guava, which goes over there. It's not in those numbers because I already have one, even though it's probably a different uh, variety. I know it says loquat down there, but that's a different uh, pot. I repotted it up because it was, it was getting pretty yucky. 
So, this tree right here, which I am so very excited, has a bud on it. I am, I am just blown away that it, I finally found a bud on it. Yes, a little green bud. I thought it was going to die. But it has fruit that grow on it. And it is a Mexican plum. I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's number 16. The Mexican plum that my neighbor gave me. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, number 17 is a wild plum. I'm not sure it's going to make it. It is still alive. I thought it was dead, but it's still alive. Number 18 is a pawpaw. And I thought it was dead, and I just cracked it, and it's green underneath the bark. Go figure. So, I don't know if, if I've just killed it or not. So we'll see if that stays alive. I don't know. Neither one of those are um, um, the, in the greatest shape. So I don't know. But that's 17 and 18. This joker here is number 19. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, apple tree that was given to me by uh, Glenn. And it needs to be moved to the backyard. It's already been knocked over once. So we need to get it in the backyard where it needs to be with the other apple trees or close by. So that it doesn't get knocked over again near, near the fence. So it'll have something to hold it up while it roots into that pot. So that's 19. I really don't know what kind of apple tree that is. And this beautiful tree that we cut way, way back underneath, I probably should have cut down in the height of it. But I thought if I cut the bottom down, I hate to cut the, the cut it down in height because that's the tree that the kids love to, to, um, climbing. So not only is it supposed to bear fruit, which it doesn't, this is a strawberry guava. It has yet to bear fruit in the last, what, 10 years? I did get a few fruit on it one year, um, but that's, that's hasn't fruited since, so we shall see. Anyways, that's number 20.